Hello everyone. It is Friday, April 2nd. The time right now is exactly 2 p.m. and the temperature outside is 3 degrees Celsius. I'm currently traveling north along, or rather south, along the west side of Victoria Park Avenue. And this is Danforth Avenue I'm approaching. And the plan for this one is rather simple. I'm going to turn right and head west along Danforth and over the Bloor Viaduct. And then I'll continue west on Bloor Street. So now I'm traveling west on the north side of Danforth. That was Victoria Park Station where I started filming this. So technically I was in Scarborough, but that didn't last very long. There appears to be some kind of large gathering on the sidewalk just up ahead here. And starting at Dawes Road, which is just up ahead, there will be a dedicated bike lane. And I'll be able to take that for most of the length of this trip. It does break up in a few points. And I think I'll get as far as maybe Runnymede or Jane Station. It's entirely possible my camera doesn't last that long. So this area is known as Danforth Village. And then when I get to around Jones Avenue, I'll be entering Greektown. That's certainly an area I've recorded quite a bit lately on this channel. And then past Greektown, I'll be heading into downtown. So this is Dawes Road. So this is where the dedicated bike lane starts that was installed last year. If you're wondering how I am doing, I'm doing quite well. There was a bit of an unfortunate incident at the end of the live stream I recorded last evening. How do you <laughs> not look as you step into a bike lane? I did end up, or end up, getting hit in the face by somebody and I broke my fall with my right hand. And my right middle, middle finger swelled up and it was kind of hard to move around. But fortunately, I can grip my handlebars and operate my brakes with zero pain or limitation. So I think that just means I jammed it, or it's a very minor sprain at most. And other than that, I feel completely fine. So, 
I just wanted to bring that up in this video since some people might be wondering. But I definitely am grateful for all the support and kind words that rolled in after that unfortunate event. There was a big lineup at that fish and chip shop. And coming up is Main Street. So Main Street Station will be just in on the right here. And I think that's where this bus is heading. And this puts me in a bad spot. Although I think what that... sign is trying to indicate is for... Ah, I'm just going to go. I'm going to say it was a yield sign. But since these people were crossing, that bus wasn't going to turn anyways. It's generally poor design to have cyclists on the right-hand side of right-turning vehicles like that. Here's another bad situation. Fortunately, that driver was alert. So yeah, I feel fine. I think mentally I'm all there, or at least no less than usual. And I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll go stream again tonight just to sort of put that one last night behind me. And unfortunately, this is the last day of outdoor dining for at least a month in the province. There has been a rise of cases, not really related to outdoor dining. They've kind of been scapegoating small businesses this whole time. And I know a lot of restaurants, upon opening for outdoor dining just two weeks ago, have invested quite heavily in their patios, and they've purchased heaters, and they've stocked their kitchens up. And as of tomorrow, they're not going to get to serve anyone, so... I think a lot of the frustration and hate being directed towards the provincial government is very well deserved. I think they're sort of plugging the wrong holes in the dike, so to speak. I suppose I just could have rang my bell, but I'm not a fan of riding too abreast in the bike lanes. Especially not if you're just going to putt and go as slow as they were. What you can't see with this camera angle is every now and then I'm constantly checking over my shoulder just to make sure there's no one creeping up behind me. Every once in a while you get a cyclist who's going at a faster clip than me. So I'd like to do my part and stay out of their way. So this here is Woodmount Avenue. I'm also not a fan of people walking in the bike paths. So this is Gleba Mount.
Happy Days Restaurant and Bar and Local 1794. We're doing a fairly good lunchtime business. And man, maybe I picked the wrong direction. I am riding straight into a pretty strong, strong wind here. Whew. Can I make this light? Nah. To get here, I just kind of cheated and took the subway south to Bloor Young. It was practically empty, so crowding wasn't really a concern. And then I decided to let the next train on line two decide which direction I would start in. If it was the west westbound train that showed up, I would have gone to Jane and started from there. But the eastbound train came first. So that is why I ended up at Victoria Park. Normally I plan my rides so that the, or that the sun is at my back. You kind of get optimal lighting doing that. But in this case, it's almost directly up above, so it doesn't really matter. There's an old TTC maintenance facility on the left. And here is Coxwell. So this would be Donlin Station coming up. After this one, I believe. You could go south on Coxwell there to Girard and find yourself in Little India, a neighborhood I need to go back to pretty soon. It's been a while since I've been through there. And I was probably wrong on that. I don't actually think Donlands is the next station. There's some more patios doing a good business. I think people are probably making an extra effort to get out and support these places today. There's Rudy. It's just unfortunate. It's a relatively cold day. So this is Greenwood, and that's actually Greenwood Station, just to the north of here. I don't know why I said Donlands was next. Oh, no right-hand turns on reds at this intersection. There's a new beer store moving into that development it looks like or maybe it's already there that's something you don't see a whole lot of on the east side of greek town or east of greek town is newer developments but there's more and more proposals going up along this stretch
So here is Donlands. And just up ahead, you can see the Welcome to Greek Town sign. There's the only. So I briefly passed through Greek Town on a bike ride I recorded last week. So I promise I won't come through here for a while. Here's Jones Avenue. Welcome to Greek Town. There's a Toronto based YouTuber known as CJ Hoyle who, who recently posted a unicycle video on Bloor Street. He went through the Mink Mile. I thought that was certainly interesting. There's Ryan Rides who does e-scooter videos. He lives on the East End. And CJ normally does videos not too unlike this. A, a bit more informative. I think he's a bit more, bit more knowledgeable when it comes to explaining his surroundings on the rides than I am, but he's usually recording those on a linear recumbent bicycle. So that's the sit down variety. So I would recommend heading over there if you want to see more cycling videos from a different perspective, as well as that unicycling video. I think you have to have balls of steel to unicycle anywhere but a protected bike lane. Can I outrace the pigeon? There's a lady who wisely thought twice before stepping into the bike lane. So here is Carla Avenue. So I'm kind of thinking of doing a video along Queen Street later tonight. Maybe this evening, if, if my legs are up to it and if I'm not feeling too lazy. Since it is the last day to see these businesses operate with actual customers. Or rather, dine-in customers. I'm also thinking of doing a video that shows how I record these videos. And that is something I'll probably put on my other channel, Johnny Stumbles. Earlier in the week, I did a video where I made my usual morning smoothie. And that seemed to be fairly popular. Let's not stand in a bike lane. Thank you.
And here is Plater Boulevard. So we are out of Greektown now. So just up ahead is, oh, gotta be careful, Broadview. And a lot of people pointed out on the live stream from yesterday that the guy who kind of pretty much stalked me was almost waiting for me at the northeast corner here. He was just kind of standing on it and he must have tailed me over to the park. I did play the video for the police and gave them the URL. It was right here in the corner where that cowardly knucklehead was. And that is speaking rather kindly of that guy. Oh, and there's some kind of police blitz on the left. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's a rather nice view of the skyline to the left. I'm currently heading over the Don Valley Parkway and then the Don River and Don Valley. And I am now on Bloor Street East, officially. So the Danforth ended just as this viaduct be, or started. Man, this wind is knocking me down. I kind of can't wait for just a nice warm, calm day. I find my legs tend to move a lot faster on the single speed in weather like that. And I imagine I'll be in much better cycling shape. Doing rides like this once a week is not really going to get me there. So the Rosedale Heights Art School is on the left and Castle Frank Subway Station is just here on the right. And in behind that is the rather affluent Rosedale neighborhood. Route of Heroes, Castle Frank Road. Whenever I see that word, R-O-U-T-E, my brain kind of flip-flops. Do I say route or route? If there's an S, I almost always say routes. Otherwise, I don't really know. Just kind of randomly say one or the other. I'm pretty sure I Googled that <laughs> at some point. It doesn't really matter how you say it. And here the bike lane is not protected and it's quite narrow. Ooh, a topless Mustang GT. Well, I have my sleeves up, so it's really not that cold. It said it was two degrees when I stepped out of my home. This is a rather stunning view to the right, especially if you can get the subway tunnel in the shot. And this is Parliament Street. It's 
So it said it was B2, or, or it, it was two, and it was going to go up to four. And I refreshed my weather app, and it said it was three. Right at the start of this ride. Whew, I am going right into a pretty strong wind right now, if you can't tell by how slow I'm going. It's taken me 26 minutes to get this far. The St. Jamestown neighborhood is just in on the left here. And south of that is Cabbage Town. Here is Sherburn Street, Sherburn North on the right, Sherburn on the left, and south of front it becomes Lower Sherburn, down to Queens Key. Oh man, my legs are starting to complain a bit now. There's Mount Pleasant Road. Could have just dipped to the right there and taken that straight back up to Midtown. But I might as well keep going here and at least make it through the Annex and Koreatown. And get one last glimpse of those neighborhoods before the sledgehammer comes down on small businesses tomorrow. I feel particularly bad for salons. They have not been open in forever. And it was announced that they'd be able to open on April 12th. And a lot of them got their booking reservation systems up and going and made arrangements with their employees. That guy needs to take that car off the road. So here is church. Just on the left is the village. And here is Bloor and Young. This is one of two scramble crossings in the city. That's Bloor Young Station on the right. The video I uploaded for this morning started off there. There's a sudden subway closure. So I made kind of an impromptu video as I walked home. And this guy in front of me is Fantuan Best Asian Food Delivery. I saw one of these guys on the sidewalk on college. On one of those e-bikes. As good as our police are, I wish they would do something about that. 
and this is the Mink Mile. Maybe I'll pull my sleeves down. Look how effortlessly you pull away on those things. I am slightly jealous right now. But after I got home last night, I had a few cans of Louis Cipher Thai PA. Then I found my way into a bottle of wine, so I have some extra calories to burn. And get the hell out of the bike lane, Range Rover. What a doink. So this is where the Mink Mile ends. That's the Royal Ontario Ontario Museum. Kind of struggling to say words at, at times. It's just a combination of being a little tired and riding into the wind. So as I was saying, I hit a bottle of wine after a couple of beers last night. I would say that was therapeutic. There's Church of the Redeemer on the right. And if someone could explain to me the logic in allowing churches to open for Easter Sunday tomorrow, but not allowing outdoor dining, I think it's probably safe to stick to the right here. I just don't understand the reasoning behind that. This car has to wait for all these pedestrians anyways. I kind of don't understand the inconsistency with the bike lane configurations. There's some areas where they funnel right turning vehicles to the right of cyclists and then there's intersections that they leave like that where it's kind of a free for all, just begging a cyclist to get clipped by a right turning car. You can see the wind blowing this lady's jacket. Oh, my tire kicked a, a rock to the side pretty good there. That is what I am cycling into right now. Here is Huron Street. I've been meaning to do a walking video that goes down the entire length of the street.
maybe I'll just go as far as Keel Station and then that'll set up a ride on the other side of Bloor Street and I can take Bloor from either Keel or High Park all the way to Etobicoke and maybe finish up at Kipling. So that'll sort of give me a future ride without any overlap of this one. Those food delivery guys are not going to get any rest with all these patio closures coming up. I complain about, about it when they ride on the sidewalks, but really, hats off to the ones that ride properly for doing that job all winter. I know some of them have e-bikes, but that doesn't make the wind chill any less. There are absolute troopers to be doing that. So this is the Annex neighborhood. I forgot to mention this earlier, but I entered the Annex right as I was exiting the Mink Mile and going past the Royal Ontario Museum. See, I'm a fan of this design keep the cyclists to the left. Everyone's got to slow down and tiptoe their way into position, but at least you don't have to worry about getting clipped. And welcome to Koreatown. Mervish Village is on the left, or at least <laughs> what's left of it. Clinton's has a pretty expansive outdoor patio setup. All right, well, that was fun. I'm recording this with my phone. What happened was the SD card in my action camera was full. So I'm going to take that as a sign that I should and recording this right now. I was just over there on Blur Street in Koreatown. When it died, I thought it was my battery. But 
when I changed the battery, it gave me a warning that the SD card was full. So I forgot to clear it out before I recorded this. And I recorded all the other footage on that SD card on a different camera. So I'm unable to delete those files from within my action camera. So I'm just going to call it a day. But thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I will catch you on the next one.